Hey guys, it's me, the Donkmatic, and welcome to another draft league. Um, we are part of the PBA, which is the Paldean Battle Association, another league run by Argatrain Gravy, and it's got quite a few returning faces that you'll recognise from the PPL season two and season three, but then there's plenty of new faces as well, which is something that's kind of drawn me into wanting to do this. Uh, and another reason is that it's kind of like a semi Ubers league. Like, we've gone a bit rogue on the Terrors and allowed some normally banned Mons, but not gone as extreme as, you know, like your Mewtwo's and your um, Dialgas and Palkias and stuff like that. But some things have been allowed. Um, I do have the sheet here. Um, so I've just ruined everyone else's drafts there on the screen. But just. To show you some examples, Fluttermane and Solgaleo, Necrozma, Dawnwings, Origin, Dialga, Zamazenta, um, Lugia, Chienpao. And then on the Terra tier list you've got some things like uh, Iron Bundle, Ogre Pond, Raging Bolt, Sneasler, etc. So some fun things are to be had this season, or they would have been, um, other than the fact that I was ninth out of the 10. Again, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened in the PPL last season. So I didn't get to draft any of the utterly broken stuff again, which is really annoying. Um, also, I fought anyway, but actually I have got some good fun stuff in this team. And I think it's turned out pretty well, considering I wasn't a wheel. I was close to being a wheel, but I was also at the end. So we'll go over the team. Um, it was like the PPL I should as well, actually. There's two divisions of 10 again. So there's 20 teams, two divisions of 10. So there's two draft pools. So when it comes to um, things like the... Playoffs, the difference of the PPL is obviously the PPL only had one of each thing on the draft board, whereas this time there's two of everything, so you could face um, the same things on your opponent's team uh, if you do make it through to the next round. Anyway, so like I said, I was ninth out of the ten, so I had to kind of take something good, but probably something that's usually allowed, uh, because a lot of the fun stuff like the Solgaleo, the Flutter Main, they were all going way too fast. Um, so I did settle with Palafin. Um, it's a mod I've always wanted to try, and to be fair, it's probably going to be my best opportunity. Um, because if you are, like, pick one in a draft, let's face it, you're going to pick Iron Valiant, because it's probably the best Pokemon in a normal draft. So um, this was a good chance for me to try Palafin. Everyone knows what Palafin does. It does take a little bit of setup, but I think I've got that covered in this team. I've got a lot of momentum. I've got a lot of pivoting potential. I should be able to set up the the hero form rather than the zero form quite easily and once that's done you know you've got really good bulk in 97 8700 uh, it's almost like a pseudo legendary type level but you then have that 160 attack stat too which is incredible for choice band with wave crash uh, jet punch you could run mystic water because obviously a lot of the stab moves well, the stab moves are water as well and it just hits really strong just because of stab plus the boost plus the ridiculous attack stat but it's also got a usable special attack stat as well, with 106 if you wanted to go special. And then you've got 100 speed, which is also decent as well, uh, meaning I can run Adamant with Jet Punch or I can run Jolly with Wave Crash if I feel like I need the speed at any point. Um, its move pool is, I say, I'm going to say limited, but limited in the sense that it gets everything it needs. Uh, obviously, it gets like coverage and like acrobatics. Boom Burst could be fun. Body Slam for some nice, safe, normal sort of damage but also a good chance of paralysis close combat is really good uh drain punch it's got a lot of sort of utility and encore and endeavor too flip turn is great obviously for activating the the hero form grass knot hydro pump uh ice moves for grass types throat chop is a dark type coverage move zen head button and the big one is probably wave crash uh if i don't fancy taking recall then you have got liquidation uh, as well iron head for fairy types so it's got what it needs um, for some reason it gets Aqua Jet as well as Jet Punch, but Jet Punch is better in every single sense of the word. You even got Reversal, so if I do fancy like a, uh, I don't know, a Salak, Endure Salak Berry set with Reversal, um, that could be quite interesting. Uh, yeah, it's just a fun mon, it's a proven mon, it's absolutely terrifying to prep for. Um, so, following on from that, I was the 12th pick as well, so it came back to me, and I decided to take another Pokemon, which is Chi Yu, and I know... Chi Yu is kind of not normally picked up in draft that often, 
And the thing that allows it to be completely busted this time around is the fact it is Terra Fire. Um, when I was running the calcs to, uh, well, it, it was always going to be Chiyu or, there was an, uh, or Gouging Fire. Now, Gouging Fire hadn't been taken, but Gouging Fire is normally allowed anyway in other leagues and Terra Chiyu is not. So I thought, you know what? This isn't all about winning. This time it's about trying out fun new things. Uh, I'm going to try Terrify Chi Yu. Um, by the way, Terrify Chi Yu can two shot on that especially defensive Vaporeon. Uh, and it can Oko Alugia um, with a choice specs overheat after Stealth Rocks. So, yeah. Chi Yu is fun. And then you obviously have the matter of like a strong stab Dark Pulse. Like, yes, it's, it's move pool is quite shallow. But it's got what it needs like it needs a strong fire move so i can run flame throw if i don't want to miss overheat if i want to nuke something with eject button dark pulse is all you need psychic there for coverage um if you need it but 90 percent of the time i don't think i'll need it and then ruination if i just want to do a half you know 50 percent to something that's switching in um but to be honest i think a fire move will terrify and choice specs kind of does that to anything that resists it anyway so, yeah, this thing is going to be fun. It's even got a bit of you know, sort of like utility as well. You've got Torn, Willow, um, Reflect. Does it get light screen as well? Yeah, it's got light screen as well. I've got a few screen ones actually, now I think about it in this team. Um, and then Hex as well. I really wanted to run Hex, but there's no point when you've got Dark Pulse. So, yeah, um, Terrified Chi Yu. Nothing for me to really say other than, you know, it's a funny click a button and something dies more. Um, could work as either like a lead just to, to break things or it could also obviously work as like a late game sweeper with like a choice scarf for example so yeah Chi Yu uh, is going to be pretty fun to use and I'm really hoping that it's going to be like the MVP of the season obviously there's a lot of other broken like Terramons this season but I feel like Chi Yu is definitely one of them because you, you double your, well, you add the Terra boost to fire moves. You've got the Beads of Ruin and you've got 135 special attack anyway. Like, this thing is ridiculous. Anyway, after the first two picks, we've got two base 100 speed Mons. I did actually want to get Galarian Slowking um, as my next pick. But I think actually that might have been another reason. No, I'm talking rubbish at this point. Um, I wanted to get Slowking, but that had gone. And I didn't want another water type in regular Slowking. So we end up going with Tornadus. Um, I think the reason why Tornadus is good is because it has that momentum. It's got the regenerator and that allows me to bring in something like my Palafin or my Chi Yu uh, or one of the other many Pokemon I've got in this draft. Um, and it's also got a really good range of offensive moves. It's obviously got a nasty plot, so it's got set up potential. It's got knockoff. It's got great coverage, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, Psychic, Hurricane, Blue Green Storm, Focus Blast, Grass Knot, Heat Wave. Like, it covers almost everything that you'd want. Um, so it's a really good generalist. And again, quick Torn user. It's got Tailwind if I want to set Tailwind up, something like a Chi Yu Sweep. Um, U-turn for Momentum, Weather Ball if I'm going to face someone who's going to abuse Weather. I think I could make this a Terra Captain, and if Chi Yu doesn't work out for me as a Terra Captain, I've got quite a few things that I could change Terra to. Um, so it's sort of something to bear in mind. But yeah, I think Torn is just here to be kind of like a bulky pivot, enable my hard hitters in like the Palafin and the Chi Yu and a couple of the others you'll see in a bit. Um, it'll be a really nice sort of addition to my team. Plus, I'm not really that weak to Rock and Ice, um, which is you know some of Tornadus's biggest weaknesses with Palafin around and Chi for the ice um obviously I'm weak to electric but as you can see I've got a raging bolt which we'll get to in a second and I've got other things that kind of cover the electric weakness so I'm not too worried about that either so yep yeah, that's Tornadus I've accidentally just tabbed out uh, of my team really professional here guys uh, next is the raging bolt now raging bolt is um oh I want a dragon I need electric as well and it works really nicely because again Unlike Torn, which is a fast pivot, Raging Bolt gives me a slow, bulky pivot with Volt Switch um, and a bit more bulk. 75 speed is okay. I've got sort of like, you know, the 121 and Torn. I've got the 100s here, so I don't mind having something a bit slower. Um, I'm kind of building a pseudo Sun Team here. If I don't want to bring Palafin mode one week, I've got Chi, Terra, Chi Yu and Fire. Uh, sorry, Terrify Chi Yu, and I've got Raging Bolt, and you can already see I've got Screamtail, so. 
there is like a fire mode here to be go to be had, so that's something. Um, but Raging Bolt again, like it, it's a bit like GU. Its move pool isn't like super big, but it gets the moves it needs. It gets strong electric stab. You get strong electric priority and thunderclap. It's basically sucker punch. It's got Draco Meteor. It's got Dragon Tail for phasing, calm mind, body press. Like Earthquake for physical coverage. Taunt again. Not sure that I'd be running Taunt on this, but the big draw is Volt Switch. The slow pivots into things like, um, well, Palafin or Chiyu. Um, and I've also got Torn as a ground immunity uh, to avoid that on the Raging Bolt. And I've also got a Palafin, which will scare a lot of the ground types. And to be fair, Chiyu will probably scare a lot of the ground types. I'm not obviously going to be swapping into it on a ground type, but, um, you know, the Terrifier stab moves are going to be doing a lot of damage. And yeah, like most of its moves are just electric and dragon. It's got the odd, like, you know, Power Herb Solar Beam. Almost definitely is going to come at some point. Um, let's just get rid of the adverts off our screen. Screw them. Um, at some point this, you know, this season. Could bring Blunder Policy Zap Cannon. Why not? If we're getting towards the end of the season and do an awful or we're qualified for playoffs, that could be a meme set that I could bring. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a generally really good thick mon that just kind of sits there and deals damage and helps pivot the team around. I think that's something that will really help me enable my my sort of top two hitters over here. Next is Screentail. Had no hazards. Um, and I think Screentail gives me a nice wish passer to help the longevity of uh, Palafin and Chiyu. Yes, Palafin gets the Drain Punch, but it's not Stab and it's not going to hit the hardest ever. Chiyu obviously has no recovery. Torn has got the Regenerator. Uh, Raging Bolt hasn't got any, so I think the wish here is going to be really nice. Got Baton Pass, so again, it's fast pivot if I want to run that. Um, it's got capabilities to set up with Bulk Up and Carmine itself. Uh, it's got Drain Punch for its own recovery. It's got really good coverage moves, so you've got, you know, Fire Blast slash Flame Throw, Grass Knot, Focus Blast, type of Voice, Dra Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Psychic Fangs if I want to destroy screens, Psychic Noise if I want to stop healing. Um, lots of good things, but then it's also got Raw to phase few people out, and uh, which I think is probably going to be quite good. Um, a lot of the top threats are like either Fairy or Dragon. Um, there's a few Steel, which obviously isn't great for Screen Tail, but this makes Dragon types a lot less scary. Um, it's bulky because it's got a pretty big uh, HP and defense and special defense stat, and it's got a lot of speed too, which is really nice for a support mod. Um, screens is another thing as well. I know I mentioned that Chiyu gets screens, but I don't know if I'll necessarily want to run screens in Chiyu. If I've got Screen Tail, they can do the same. Um, and Stealth Rocks. So Fox is big as well because they didn't have that. So, yeah, I think Screen Tail is here going to be to be like a support mod to enable these other four here. I I imagine that these five will be on the team almost every week, and then one of the remaining five will probably fill in the last slot. Uh, sixth mod was Serena. So uh, yes, I bought it as a rapid spinner, but also this is my other Terra captain, and I've gone for Grass, Poison, and I believe Fairy as my three choices of Terra. Um, obviously, Queenie Majesty is a, an awesome ability. It stops being revenge killed. Um, so if I run Choice Scarf on this, or I'm, I'm like plus one, uh, plus two after a rapid spin or whatever, then Queenie Majesty is really nice. It makes this thing harder to KO. But you know, if I want to run an offensive Scarf set with Terra, um, is going to make it really hard to revenge kill unless they've got something that is scarfed themselves. So you've got Serena for that. But yeah, you've got Rapid Spin. It's got, again, it's got great coverage. Uh, like, its move pool isn't big, but it's got even better coverage than some of the other things. So your Acrobatics, you've got your Fairy Stab, although you're not, probably not going to be running special. Um, you've got High Jump Kick, Knock Off, um, Strong Stab, Impel, Blizzard, or Power Up. You've got Play Rough, Rapid Spin, Synthesis for the Recovery. Again, Taunt. I think almost all of my Mons have. I, I genuinely think all of my ones have taunt uh, that I've drafted so far. So, um, Triple Axel is really nice. Um, U turn and then Headbutt. I could run like Loaded Dice, Bullet Seed, Triple Axel one week. That could be quite fun. I might try that at some point. <laughs> but looking at the rest of the moves, like, there's probably not much else there. Oh, Trop Kick is its like stab, uh, sorry, is its signature move, which is actually quite nice because it lowers the opponent's attack by uh, one by 100% chance so like for example week one I'm facing a gouging fire which is probably always going to switch in on the Serena so if I can get a drop kick off on that and lower its attack 
that'll make it way easier for me to deal with by pivoting around into like other things so that could be nice as well as a support one um so that's the first six of the draft and then if i just go to the other half um you also just got a sneak peek of my week one team there or potential week one i play that later today we have actually gone for clod sire um clod sire is a really interesting mon um it's really fat it doesn't do a lot back but actually i saw necro use it really well in the ppl this season um, it has every single entry has a you'd want other than sticky webs um spikes toxic spikes and stealth rocks it's got access to toxic which not many things actually have in this generation um and actually ground and poison is a really decent typing um Especially, you know, like steel types are going to be immune to the poison, but it runs the risk of swapping into like an earthquake or something. Um, it's got counter, so I can hit something hard with a counter if I really want to. Uh, it's got haze to eliminate stat changes along with abilities. By the way, it's got three usable abilities. Poison point probably is the least useful of the three. Water absorb is really nice because obviously that gives you a water immunity as a ground type. And then you've got unaware to ignore all stat boosts, which I think is going to be really important. Because again, you've got a lot of steel types and fairy types in this. Um, there's the ogre ponds. Like ignoring the stat boosts uh, if they decide to set up could be really nice. Along with water absorb too, ignoring like water type moves, insane. So it's got a good way. It's, it's a really good mon at stopping setup. Um, but it's also got really interesting like move pool. Like, again, body press, chilling water if I want to know people's attack stats. It's got a power of quake, although its special attack is awful. Uh, not sure I'd ever need to run Heavy Slam, you know, uh, or Iron Head to be fair, because I've got poison moves like Poison Jab or Gunk Shot. You've got Rock Coverage, and then like I mentioned, you've got all your Entry Hazards here. Trailblaze if you want to go fast on Clod Sire for whatever reason. Like, it, it's just got really good move pool. It's a really good support mon. It's just a good wall to sit there and slow the game down and, you know, set up Entry Hazards if, if, if I want to. Oh, and it does get Recover as well, uh, which is really nice um, to obviously enable the longevity of this thing and it's also got yawn too which is quite nice to uh you know put things to sleep and stop people from pivoting around too much so you've got clod sire uh next is the round uh no yeah no or did i draft this i might have drafted this before clod sire and got the order wrong but um yeah we've got the round seven or round eight king gambit here um we i needed a steel type and i was debating between um Metagross and this. And I think Metagross might have potentially gone just before me. But actually, this gives me a nice sort of overload on dark typings, which is a decent offensive typing. Because there's a lot of ghosts and like psychics around. There's a lot of them. Um, there is going to be a lot of fairies, about two. But I'm a steel type, so what are you going to do about it? Um, and my other dark type is a Chi So that doesn't, that kind of almost ignores typings. Um, Everyone knows what King Gambit kind of does. It's another Stealth Rocker, if I wanted to run Stealth Rocks on it. Um, but I think it's a good mon that gives me like an end game, uh, of like, or like a setup opportunity. It's got some really good abilities <coughs> in Defiant and Supreme Overlord. I mean, pressure's okay, but it's not as good as these two. So Defiant is really good if I'm facing opponents who have a lot of Intimidate users, or Supreme Overlord is a obviously a fantastic ability. Where if all my team dies and I'm down to King Gambit last, uh, it, it, it could it can sweep, it can reverse sweep games, especially obviously with Sword Dance and it does get Sucker Punch, which is really strong stab on this thing. Um, I could also make King Gambit Terror, and again, like if if I don't enjoy using Terror on Chiyu, I don't know why I wouldn't, or if I feel like Chiyu doesn't need the Terror because it's already strong enough, then I could stick Terror on King Gambit if I wanted to. Um, it would only get one type. So it could potentially be, like, maybe a flying type? Possibly. I think flying type's best on this, um, because obviously then you're resisting the flying types and you're immune to ground. Um, so there, there is the opportunity for me to do that on King Gambit, but yeah, like, you know, Cattail Cleave doesn't miss. Not that evasion's really much of, like, a thing in, in Draft League. It's a strong, reliable stab. It's a shame it doesn't get a knockoff. That would be completely broken, but hey, we... Uh, we can always hope in Gen 10. Um, and then it just gets the coverage that you need. It's also got some utility and Thunder Wave. <laughs> Another Taunt Mon. I didn't check. Does Clod Sire get Taunt? That might be my first Pokemon that doesn't get Taunt. Um, Night Slash if I want to try and go for the critical hits. 
Uh, brick break if I want to get rid of screens. Like, yeah, like, again, the move pool, not huge, but it gets the moves it needs. Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Sword Stance is probably what you're going to be needing most of the time. So, King Gambit is there. I've never used it before, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then we kind of got to the two budget picks, but as far as budget picks go, I'm actually really happy with these. So, Hitmon on top is a fighting type I didn't have. It is an Intimidate user, but it can also function obviously as a really strong Technician mod. Um, it's not Terror, but if, again, if I shuffle my Terrors around, I could potentially make it a Terror mod. Um, it hits okay. I mean, it's 95. It's not the strongest, and its HP stat isn't the biggest, but it's got good defense stats. Um, and Intimidate, it's another spinner. So if I want to use Offensive Serena one week, I've got this as an opportunity to then, you know, bring as an actual spinner. Uh, it's got loads of priority. It's got Quick Attack, it's got Fake Out, it's got Bullet Punch, which would be nice with Fairies about. Again, with Technician 2, it's like a pseudo sizzle, but it also gets Map Punch as well, which is obviously Stab. And then it's just got really good coverage in like Triple Axle, which obviously gets the um, the buff from Technician. Oh, Sucker Punch is priority as well. Like, it, it, in general, like, it's just a good solid utility mod, um, which could really help me against some really strong physical attackers, which there's obviously loads of um, in this league. So, that was basically it. Oh, vacuum wave is more priority, but pardon me, that's special. I'm just burping in a video. Classic me. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the hit on top. And then the final one is Drift Blim. Uh, doubling up on flying, yes, but I didn't have Ghost. Um... I'm fairly weak to ground, not really, because I've got, you know, Drift Blim, I've got um, Serena, I've got Tornadus, and I've also got a Palafin for people to worry about, so, like, probably not that weak, but this helps with that, and um, it's, a, it's a Defogger, so it's another form of removal, it's actually got three forms of removal. Um, it has got, obviously, the Unburden or Aftermath, if I'm wanting to, like, you know, Something's low on the opponent's team, I can sack this thing off. Um, it's got Baton Pass, so again, it can be either like, I say slow, it's 80 speed, but it can either be fast with Unburden uh, Baton Pass, or it can be slow-ish Baton Pass uh, into something else. Memento, to enable setup on things like the King Gambit, um, or the Tornadus. Destiny Bond, to take something down, uh, uh, like a sweeper that's kind of got out of hand, so I could run like Sash or something. Um, knock Off. You know, and then just like strength sap is another another move. I really enjoyed using that move on a uh, on the what's it called the vile plume in the PPL last season. So that'll be a fun move. Like, and then it's just got good coverage. Uh, you know, it's got Thunderbolt, it's got T Wave again. I've got T Wave on a lot of mods too. Uh, Psychic, Shadow Ball. You know, uh, Bin Lorry's outside. Don't know why, because it's uh, a Friday and not a Thursday, and you can probably hear that. Um, so apologies. Disable could be fun. Curse is always fun on a Ghost type. And again, that can kind of put me in the unburden range for things. So, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, we can go boom as well. Oh, I forgot it goes boom. That could be something I can do as well. So, yeah, I think Drift Blim is just... Like, it was three points. So, like, as three point mons go, <laughs> I think Drift Blim's probably one of the better ones. And actually, it's not pathetically weak. Um, and its HP stat's huge, so it's not pathetically... Like, it's not too frail either. So, anyway, that's the Norwich Skitty team for this season. Week one will be uploaded uh, a week from today. So upload day is Monday for this league. Um, so this should be up on the, what, hang on, today's 15th, 16th, 18th. I'm playing my first game today on the 15th. So hopefully that should all be uploaded. I don't know if it'll be live yet. Um, I want to do it live, but we'll see how the circumstances are because I'm playing late at night. So I don't know why it's probably going to be asleep. This Bin Lorry man, I'm rambling. That's the sign for me to end. So thanks for watching this, guys. Um, let me know how you think Norris Skate are going to get on this season. And I'll see you next week for week one of the Paldean Battle Association. See you later.